Time to sink your teeth into some ripe apple news. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET update. Months of Apple iPhone rumors and speculation are finally behind us, my friends. Apple unveiled the iPhone 5 Wednesday. And to save you time, I got your quick breakdown of all you need to know. Prices are the same as the last model, starting at $200 with a contract for 16 gigs of memory. Pre-orders begin online this Friday, and it will be on sale in stores a week later on Friday, September 21st. And because so much was leaked online, most of the news is what we already heard. There is a slightly longer screen at 4 inches. That means you'll get an extra row of icons on the bottom. For any app that isn't formatted to the new size, you'll see a black border on two sides. You get a faster processor, camera can now capture photos faster, take panorama shots, and has improved stabilization. It also can take photos while recording a video. The front-facing camera got a boost capturing 720p video. Also, there are three microphones now. As for the body, it's thinner, and there's no more glass on the back. They always shattered anyways so easily, but this time the back is made of aluminum. This year's model will be able to tap into 4G LTE faster network speeds, but you'll have to do the math to see which carrier's plan and LTE coverage area works best for you. You see, Verizon covers the most area. AT&T follows behind on areas, but they have more plan and pricing options. Sprint has unlimited data, so yeah, there's lots to consider. Also, what remains to be seen with testing is how 4G will impact battery life. Oh, and about that new connector, it's much smaller now. Apple nicknames it Lightning, but if you need an adapter, Apple will gladly sell you one for $30. Folks with older iPhones won't be completely left out. The update to iOS 6 can be downloaded Wednesday, September 19th, so the iPhone news didn't really shock anyone. But you know what did? The new design of the iPod Nano. It went from a little square that you could wear on your wrist to this thinner two-inch screen starting at $150. Looks like an iPod Touch melded with a Nokia Lumia. It comes in many colors, and the menu for apps looks very different from the typical Apple look with rounded icon skittles. There's no web browsing or Wi-Fi, but there is Bluetooth and FM radio. It comes out in October. The iPod Touch also got a splash of color and has a screen like its iPhone 5 cousin. These start at $300 for 32 gigs of memory. The touches are faster, there's a better camera, and they have Siri. The iconic Apple earbuds have also got a redesign. Now they're called EarPods. So yeah, that's a lot, and that is your Apple Tech News Roundup, but you can find more details at CNET.com update. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.